Hi! <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, guys. We had such an exciting weekend. So, we saw Sam Smith in concert, which was very exciting. The first time we saw a big artist live. And <laughs> for us, it is very weird to see such a big celebrity. Um, we're not used to <laughs> seeing anyone important. <laughs> okay, so anyway, enough about Sam Smith. We are here to answer some of your questions. Let's get started. Okay. <laughs> this will be. <laughs> scroll, 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 scroll. First question How old are we? Uh, I'm turning 25. Yeah, on Thursday, <laughs> 18th of April. Yeah, and Valdo is 25, turning 26 on the 20th of November. Okay, so the next question is um, basically, do we want kids? And if we do, are we going to adopt? Um, I want kids. I don't. <laughs> I don't like children. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. But no, no. later, much, much later, um, we are still very young. We still want to focus on our careers a bit more and just travel and... Yeah, get a few dogs, <laughs> practice on them, and then we will try to adopt. Okay. I think we both would rather want to adopt. Like, um, I'm also adopted um, and I think it would also be nice to help somebody else out as well. Like give somebody else a, a chance in life. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so the next question is how did you purchase this big house? Um, it's not ours, we're renting it. I think it's like 65, 6, 70 squares. It's very small. The next question is how to identify a gay guy and how to attract a gay guy. Um, just go to gay clubs. Yeah, yeah, I think in general, maybe if <laughs> you never know, so, so maybe go to places that you know um, they be hanging. <laughs> but I would usually just go to um, gay bars and clubs and meet guys there. Um, Sounds rough, but or, <laughs> or just get like a gay friend and network through them. To attract a gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, just if you hanging out in gay clubs and you know that are gay, then it's normal for you can just like buy a drink, or stand next to them, speak to them, I don't know. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next question is do you guys like to travel? If so, which country would you love to visit or explore together? Um, we would love to travel. I, we haven't traveled as yet. Yeah, um, I think both of us would like to go to Australia as one of the countries. Yeah, country. and just and also definitely like Vietnam is very into architecture. So any Europe country, I think Vietnam will love it. Like, okay, we don't know where we want to <laughs> go, no, but we would like to travel. Yeah, tra like obviously seeing the big landmarks like Statue of Liberty, uh, Eiffel Tower, the Alps, like many of the big landmarks, we would like to see that. Like everyone wants to see it at least once in their lifetime. Yeah. So everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next one is um. How to find a good partner when every gay person around me just wants sex and not love? Um, <laughs> so I think the best thing to do is always find someone maybe who's um, who has the same interests as you. So I know a lot of people meet their partners um, at university where they maybe study the same thing or different things, but um, where you find someone who has a bit more of the same values as you um, like and it's usually it works out a bit better um, we met 
at a time where I was starting with university and he was already there. So I think we bonded a lot about um, him sort of helping me get into it. I was very scared to start <laughs> university. So um, I think originally we bonded a lot on that and he helped me get started. And since then we've been building our careers together, helping each other, supporting each other. And I think um, that's probably one of the good ways you can meet someone. Uh, um, the next question. Um, how do you feel about monogamy and gay culture? Uh, firstly, uh, we don't judge other couples for what they do and how they make their stuff work. It's obviously different for every couple. Um, we are monogamous and it works for us. And we know of other couples who aren't. And it really, they, they're fine. They already love each other and they've got everything figured out. And if it works for you, by all means. Okay, so, um, who is top and who is the bottom? Really? <laughs> How many X's do you have? <laughs> so sorry. But, but, doing you two is to be a bottom or flip-flop. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <laughs> How is the LGBT community treated in your country? Um, so many of you know that South Africa is one of the first countries who legalized um, gay marriage in the world. And so in general, the LGBT community is treated very well, especially in certain parts um, like Cape Town or Johannesburg, Victoria, um, more in the bigger cities, whereas in the smaller communities, it can still be tricky for the people there. We've got very traditional people in very isolated parts of the country. In general, everything is fine. We don't have people necessarily. To, there are cases of people being brutally attacked because they are gay. Um, you can read it in, in the news. And but in general, we are quite accepting. Yeah. So and all our, our parents, our families, everybody is accepting. Okay, so uh, another question is, gay relationship and gay clubbing can work, do couples belong in clubs? Um, I don't think it's an issue that a gay couple would go to the club. Sometimes it's nice to just go out and twerk a bit. <laughs> um, but I think if you would rather go out to a club and then spend a night with your partner maybe it would become questionable i don't know for me personally we don't go out clubbing at all we would rather go to a restaurant or go watch a movie um we're very anti-social <laughs> so for us we don't really um go to clubs but i also don't think there's anything wrong with it okay. um, if it again if it works for your relationship yeah. why not um i guess it depends what clubs you talk I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so uh, favorite song. Oh, where <laughs> where do I start? Um, I like everything, and but my mood changes a lot. So I guess it depends on my mood. But one song that I always go back to and listen is Rita Ora's Anyway. I don't know why, but that song gets to me. <laughs> I love that song so much. So. I would say, for this current mood I'm in, <laughs> reads our auras anyway, and I would say anything from the middle of So the last question is, what is the cutest thing about one another? What is, what's the cutest thing? What do you find the cutest thing about one another? Niki. He's snoring. I'm a divorce. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Um, mm. Actually, when he gives claws, he's like so. He's so strict, but he's so cute. He's, when he gives claws, he's really so into it and stuff. And he's he's a really amazing dancer, and he's just so cute when he gives claws. And I think the cutest thing Baldu does is when he concentrates. But I also do this. He. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Please remember to click subscribe and like this video if you guys want to keep watching our videos and hit the notification bell. Sorry for not getting to everybody's questions. There were a lot, but thank you for submitting them on Instagram. So we will see you next week again. Bye!